Dear students, today we are learning about the muscles who are connecting my upper limb with the rest of the body. And these muscle groups are present anteriorly, posteriorly and laterally. The muscles which connects my upper limb with rest of the body. So anteriorly what we can see this big muscle which is present in front of my chest this muscle is pectoralis major and you can see it's coming from the clavicle it's coming from the sternum and its part it's coming from the abdominal muscle and all these muscle fibers they converge to a point to be attached on the lateral lip of the bicipital groove of my humerus bone that is not visible at the moment then we can see after removing this big muscle this huge muscle we can see this muscle which is coming from the upper ribs and that is my pectoralis minor muscle so this pectoralis minor muscle is attached to my upper ribs and then it's going towards my coracoid process so these are the muscles who connect my upper limb with the anterior chest wall there is a tiny muscle which is also been visible here and that is also been included in the list and this muscle is my subclavius muscle now we can we need to talk about the muscles who connect my upper limb with the lateral chest wall and there is one big muscle that emerge in different serrations that's why it's called serratus and is located anteriorly so we call it serratus anterior and these different digitations they merge and they are going to be attached on the anterior surface medial border of the scapula bone and this muscle is innervated by long thoracic nerve Now we are looking at the group of muscles who are connecting my upper limb with the vertebral column. These muscles are arranged in two layers. Here we are looking at the superficial layer and here we are looking at the deep layer. Because once we remove the superficial muscle then only we can visualize these deeper muscles. So let's start. So this muscle which is diamond shape as you can see half of it this is my trapezius muscle you can see it's attached to the base of the skull it's coming from the cervical vertebrae it's attached to the thoracic vertebrae and it's going all the way down and all these fibers they are converging to be attached on the spine of the scapulae acromion process and the clavicle bone this muscle is innervated by my 11th cranial nerve which is accessory nerve then after that we can see here this huge muscle which is coming from a facial attachment and from my lumbar vertebrae and this is also attached onto the coxal bone and this muscle is coming all the way up the fibers coming from different direction they have a slight attachment on the scapulae and ultimately they are going and they are attached in the floor of the bicipital groove this muscle is my latissimus dorsi so my latissimus dorsi muscle is innervated by thoraco dorsal nerve so these were the muscles who were making superficial layer of the group of muscles who are connecting my upper limb with the vertebral column now after removing these muscles what is mean inside the the, the deep layer that comprises of the levator scapulae muscle you can see that it's coming above to the area where the spine of the scapula begins so this is the place of the attachment of my levator scapulae muscle and you can see that it's going upwards and then we can see the rhombitis minor which is going towards my vertebral column and then this big one rhombitis major muscle now these muscles which are visible and they are under cover of the 
trapezius muscle but these muscles are classified under the group of the scapular muscle and you are looking at the supraspinatus infraspinatus teres minor and teres major muscle and these muscles are not the one who are connecting my upper limb to the vertebral column but these are the muscles of the scapular region and all of them they are going towards the lesser greater tubercle of the humerus bone 